So today, at least in the center city, we saw a little bit of everything. When I woke up this yeah. morning, it was sunny. <laughs> then it started snowing. Then it just was bitter cold. And then it started raining. And now it's sort of doing raining, Welcome I guess, to the now. Mid-Atlantic in January. Yeah, right? you know, a little bit of everything going on. And that's exactly what happened, Howard. You know, we were talking about how we would have the snow and then it would eventually all change over to this rain. And now we're in that transitional period. But yes, more rain than anything else is what we're seeing along I-95 in Philly at this point. But we take a look here this afternoon, this evening in Bethlehem, where we had a little bit more snow in some of those areas north and west of the city. It has definitely been a winter wonderland today up there in the Lehigh Valley. Take a look at some of our snow totals from across the area here on this Saturday afternoon. We had just shy of three inches of snow there in Nazareth. Whitehall Township came in at two and a half in the Reading area, just around two. And here in Philly, we officially got a trace at the airport. Now it was again varying depending on where you were. Some areas like the northeast part of the city got a little bit more than that trace of snow, but officially at the airport, that is what we got with this system. Storm scan three shows it continues to rotate out of here, but also what it does is it's bringing in some of that warmer air from the south. So as it rotates away, yes, it's taking the moisture with it, but again, it's drawing in some of that warmer air. So that's why we're seeing that changeover from the snow to some sleet, some freezing rain, even in a few spots. And then, of course, plain rain down across many areas in South Jersey. So we take you up parts of the Poconos, the Lehigh Valley as well, Upper Bucks, Montgomery County. That's where we're still seeing just plain snow. But as you work your way a little bit further south, Doylestown towards the Montgomery area into the Abington, Jenkintown spots along I-95 as well. Rain and maybe even, yes, a little bit of freezing rain. Still a possibility for us here for the next maybe hour or so. But again, that warm air pushing further north as our warm front comes on through has now changed all precipitation across across South Jersey and Delaware to plain rain, and that will continue to overtake the region as we go through the rest of the nighttime hours tonight, or at least I should say the evening before we start to clear things out in the late nighttime hours. Future radar temperatures for us here. We're going to go through till about seven o'clock again now getting up above the freezing mark in areas like Philadelphia train Wilmington as well already seeing some 40s across South Jersey but we do still stay in the 30s and even the 20s in some spots north of the city by the seven eight o'clock time frame by 10 o'clock though the really kind of vast majority of this moisture all the precipitation really sliding well off to our north and east and we're still looking at some really warm air sitting over top of the area so by 10 o'clock we're almost at 40 degrees in Philly now a couple light scattered showers could rotate on through as we go through the nighttime hours tonight you see around 2 a.m. A couple light scatter rain showers here and there but again temperatures jumping up high 30s around 40 degrees at 2 a.m. by 3 a.m. we're at 40 and that will be the high temperature for Sunday happening 3 o'clock in the morning strong northerly winds then take over on Sunday afternoon we'll have some clearer skies but temperatures will actually drop as we go through the day so 43 degrees will be the official high temperature tomorrow but like I said it will be happening right in that three, four o'clock time frame, and then strong west northwesterly winds take us down into the 30s in the afternoon. And then we are definitely in the throes of winter all week long. We're looking at highs there only in the low 30s, guys, all next week. Wow.